All right, guys. Today on SolidWorks, I am going to be making a Tetris board. Let's let's make a Tetris board. So we're going to go. Uh oh, it's running slow. It says. Okay. We're going to start our part. Okay. And to do this Tetris board, I always like to start my part for Tetris because each each part is you know set at a different um plane. So I'll start Tetris. Uh, I'll start my first Tetris piece if it lets me. We're going to start it on the top plane. Okay? Then we'll straighten that top plane out. And we're going to take our first piece, our first block, and it's going to be an inch by an inch. So we're going to make a block. No, not this one. So let's see here. We're going to make a block and then we're going to dimension it an inch by an inch. Smart dimension. Dimension this side. Okay. One inch. Then we'll dimension this side. One inch. Pow. We got an inch by an inch. Then what we're going to do is go to features, extrude. And then we're going to extrude that one inch as well. So, okay, there is our first part of our Tetris block. Next, we are going to chamfer the edges. Okay, so you can do this by hitting chamfer, hitting that. Uh, I am going to make this 0.2. Uh, no, we want uh, point five. Let's see what's the best one. Point one. It's probably gonna be point five. Point five. No, that's way too big. What? 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 See, this is this is uh, that's the best one right there. So we'll do that one. We can hold shift and we can chamfer all the edges uh, on the whole top. Nah, escape, escape. Let's, let's just use fillet. Does that mean we can just fillet everything, right? We just fillet it all. Fillet the sides. Okay. This right here. Okay. That's that's our fillet right there. Right? Boom. Done. See, there's our fillet. So, you can always change the color once you're done with your, your part. Um, so, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to open an, up another part. Or, actually, we're going to assemble this part. So, we're going to save this part as... Uh, file, save as, okay, file, save as, we're going to save it as Tetris, right, Tetris 1, pow, alright, so we saved that as Tetris 1, then we're going to open up an assembly, we can say okay, right, okay, so now, we want to open up an assembly, go to the assembly, we're going to hit that, and bring our Tetris block in. We're going to set our Tetris block there, right, make it smaller, then we're going to insert another one, insert another Tetris block, right here, okay, oh, we got to straighten it out, right, we're going to straighten it out, and we are going to do this, control 8 is going to make it. Control 8 will, will give you the front perspective. So, we have to mate these two pieces, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to mate. Then, we're going to take this side and this side. It moves it a little closer. Then, we're going to go, we're, we're good with that mate. We only got three mates and then we got to start over. So, that's just how it works. That side and that side. And then, the final mate is going to be that side and that side pow and now we got our piece that's made it all right right so that's one and we're going to insert another one another tetris block now we're making this the, the the straight block first right so we bring this in we set it close to where our design is then we got to meet this one to the next ones we'll see how it goes i'm going to meet this one to here Pow, like that. Then we're going to make this one 
we gotta always uh you know accept then we gotta mate this bottom wants to be mated with this pow right so then mate this one with this one nope that one didn't work so we have to X that out then we're gonna hit mate right and we want to mate this one with this pow there it is there's the next one so we almost got our Tetris piece put together control 8 see how it looks yep nice right okay we're gonna make another one right we're gonna insert a part our Tetris one part insert it in there pow leave it there then you know you can hit shift and move it over move it anywhere you gotta go but you know it, it's all about you know where you want it on the screen and then it's control 8 or control 7 and then uh, so we, we got this one here we want to mate it so we want to mate here we go let's mate the bottom here with the top here pow brought me close right so I'm gonna say okay to that one then we're gonna mate this one with this and moved it over right and then we're gonna okay and then one more mate we'll see what we're gonna do we're gonna mate this one with that there's our first Tetris piece guys how's it look how's that first Tetris feet good good right so uh, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, okay we're gonna go ahead and color it so we're gonna go over here to edit appearance which is the beach ball up on top and we will color this one red I think we want red on this one right we want red on these and this one this one and this one that's good right so that one is red now so now we can go ahead and file save as Tetris I said no tet that's gonna be Tetris one of seven because there's seven Tetris parts right so we have number one made okay so right now we're gonna start building our next one so let's uh, let's go new okay what we're gonna do on this one now is we're gonna do another part okay so to start off on this one I'm gonna do a little different I'm gonna do the right plane we always have to straighten it out. Be control eight to straighten it out. If that doesn't work, come up here and click that. Normal two. Okay? So I'm gonna start at my X, Y, and Z here. And I'm gonna just make the rectangle right there. Then I'm gonna smart dimension it the same way. One. Right? And come over here. And then smart dimension one again. Right? And then we're going to go to features, extrude the base, and we're going to extrude that base one. And there we go. They have another Tetris blocks. Okay. So now let's go ahead and fillet the edges like we did last time. Just fillet them all. So I like fill fillet. Fillet is the best, um, you know, the best way to do this. In my opinion, it is. Um, yes. Okay, good. So, there's the start of our next piece. So, we're going to save this one as file. Save as Tetris. Why do we keep messing up when I said Tetris? Tetris 2. Boom. Right? Tetris 2. So, we got our Tetris 2, right? What we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to start an assembly again. So now we get our next part.
This is also, if you do these all in the one whole thing, then what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to 3D print it. So you have to do it with separate assemblies. Um, so let's begin with the assembly of inserting my component of Tetris 2, right? Right there. Boom. Go in place. And the next one I want to do, Control 8, bring that up there. I don't know, what the, just ignore the stuff on the bottom of the screen there. So, um, we're going to go insert another block of Tetris 2. Just keep track of what you're inserting so you don't insert the wrong one. So, alright, so we're going to make these again, right? We're going to make these. So, I'm going to make that, make that side with that side. Boom, okay? So then, I am going to make... The, uh, actually, we gotta do that one. We gotta make this side with this side, right? Okay. Then we want to make this side with this side. There it is, my friends. Okay. Double click. Insert another component. And this one, you guessed it, is gonna be the block shape. So, with this one, we have to make another one. Okay, we're going to make this side with the top of this one. Ready to go. And then you know what the next move is going to be, right? Meet this one with this one. Boom. We're in place. Double click. Okay. Insert component. Tetris 2. Now, this is just a quick, you know, tutorial on how to make a Tetris board and actually play a pretty hard game of Tetris after you make it and you gotta make the frame you know you can make the frame I'm gonna um, use that side and I'm gonna bring it over here alright that was quick then I'm gonna go say okay then I'm gonna use that one and I am going to use that one okay we only got one more move to make and that's gonna be the top over here this one and this one Nope, didn't work. Okay, guys. X out of that one. All right. I don't know what happened here. I know something happened, but we can control Z out of this. So it's right back where it began. If you ever have a, a problem with this, just bring another one in. Set it close to where you're going. Made them back in again. So let's see how many times it takes me to make this. I want this one here. Moves it over. Then I want... Just okay. Then I want to make this down here. It doesn't want to move, so X that out. Um, then I want to mate. Okay, so we want to hit mate. We want to mate this bottom piece here with this top piece here, and it brings it down right into place. And then for the last mate, we want to mate this with this. Brings it over where it's got to be. So there we go, guys. That one there is the next Tetris piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here to the beach ball, edit appearance. And we are going to paint this one a blue. Okay. Paint this one purple. What is it? Purple, right? Paint these purple, right? Ooh, it looks nice. Okay. That's my second one, right? Looks cool, right? So now we're going to go here, file, save as. Okay. Tetris 3. Oh, is that Tetris 2? No, Tetris 3. Okay. So that's Tetris 3, and then we're going to have 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, we'll start our new part. Okay. We'll start our new part document right here. Right. Then we're going to go over and start our sketch. And you can do the same thing. So, what I'm going to do is rectangle again. I'm going to pick the top plane. I'm going to straighten it out. And I'm going to start it right here. I'm smart dimension. What you got to do is click the line to smart dimension. It's pretty easy. Boom, boom. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to do this one here. Boom, boom. Then we're going to go ahead, hit features, extrude the base, just means extruding it, uh, bringing it out. We're going to hit one inch on that. 
make sure you're in inches which would be IPS down here inches pounds and in seconds so that's what that means um, if your model wants to be metric you can come over here and change this to MMGS which is metric but I don't want to do that and this one I'm gonna fillet this 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 and that's a beautiful site right there and see I might have to do another one nope that's it right there beautiful so now let's go ahead and assemble this one real quick I'm gonna assemble it hit OK All right uh, now this one bring this in no we don't want that one there we go Tetris one that's what we want okay then we are going to hit control 8 I mean uh, yeah control 8 boom bring us like that then we're gonna go insert another one Tetris one put it right here kinda spin our, our thing so we can see it this one's kinda crazy looking but let's make this these blocks together okay that one's gonna be like that okay now this one is going to be up to here that kind of shifted it down even and this is tricky guys this is tricky right here so we're going to want to pull this out right so we're going to have to control z this because it already sucked itself too far in so we have to get out of our mating process control z control z okay let's start again insert component tetris one set that there Okay, come over here, control 8, bring that straight, okay, Compo insert component, Tetris 1 again, let's look where it's going to be, it's got to be close, there we go, and we're going to mate these two, so I'm going to hit mate, and I'm going to go over and hit this side to mate with this side, right, so now you see where we are? Okay, I'm gonna hit OK, and then I'm gonna mate these bottoms, right? You wanna mate these bottoms to come and slide over. Boom, see, slid over to that. And the next mate is going to be this side with this. Boom, and it, see, it brought me in. So that's how you mate two pieces into one. So we have the square, we have the long one, now we have to get the double trouble, which is gonna be to insert another block over here okay and made it so we're gonna make that with the top of that right then hit okay then we're gonna okay we're gonna make this one with this one like that and the last one you see yeah, is gonna be these two right so let's see if that works we're gonna make this with this and it did work nice there we're gonna double click okay and we gotta insert one more let's see here insert one more it's gonna go down that that way no oh come on all right so let it off there we still made it we can try to make it you want to get as close to the design as you can so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick that side to make on this side and see what happens it's gonna bring it closer to where I have to go alright let's see if this will work now I wanna make this with this it's gonna bring it over and we get one more mate here and we might have to start over but we'll see what happens so I'm gonna hit this side with this side come on baby Alright, so that's not going to work because I set it too far, so it's better off to set your piece. Alright, so let's insert, oh, this one we have to remake because I just messed up. So, I'm going to take this, and I am going to take this, bring it there. Now, hit OK, and this one, and this one, brings it over, right, and then you know guys the last one you're gonna guess right it's this one and this one okay so now double click now we're gonna insert it again Tetris one we're gonna bring it as close as possible to where we're gonna have to go 
because if not, you know, it's going to have to have a far distance to go to. I did that one a little too close, but we still made it together. Let's see. I want to make this side right there with that side brought it out right so now I want to meet this side with this boom brought it up where I have to go and then you guys guessed it we got one more to do we're gonna meet this with this boom and that's my piece so double click this we're gonna go over to the beach ball and we're gonna color this one what do we want we want green don't we I want green, green, green. You can change these any color you want, but I think that's good. Okay. All right. So that's Tetris piece four, right? There's seven. So that's four. So I'm going to go and I'm going to file, save as Tetris. Tetris. See, I do the same thing all the time. Tetris four. Okay. We got three more to do. Let's see what happens. And then we're going to start playing our game. But in the middle of making our pieces, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new part. And I'm going to make the frame for Tetris. And I'm going to name that Tetris frame. So we'll go ahead. Well, we're going to start our sketch for the Tetris frame, which I'm going to start that actually. And we're going to start that on the front, front plane straighten it out and we want our frame for Tetris to be you know at least it's like 10 10 um, 10 inches across by 20 inches high that's what this frame is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quick dimension after so this is what our frame is gonna look like when we want to play Tetris actually it's reversed but that's okay, because I could just flip it around. But for right now, let's dimension it. Okay, from here to here, we want that to be one inch, right? Same thing with this. From here to here, we want that to be one inch, right? Then, from here to here, we want that to be 20 inches. Boom, look at that. Wow, that's up high, right? So... Let's see, let's bring this up from here to here. We want this to be 19. Oh, what happened? What happened? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this one, right? And this one is going to go up. Oh, we got to hit smart dimension first. So. We're going to bring that one up 20. Let's see what happens. That's pretty wide there. But we can always bring this up to escape. Right? Control Z every time you want to start over. What I would do is just start a new design because I don't like how this one's coming out. So I'm going to start a new part. And I'm going to go right for the front plane again. Straighten it out. And I'm going to do my Tetris right across just like this so now we can have our blocks dropping from the top and uh... there we go and we can stretch this up a little bit you know right there you know where it's even alright let's see what happens see how it shows you where you can meet with the next one there it is like that go ahead smart to mention these one two you want this to be one inch and you can see I'm on IPS which is inches still make sure every time you start your part you check that because it does change so you know some some parts in SolidWorks needs to be um, you know metric or whatever but I want this to this to be 10 inches right 10 that's what I want for that okay and then from this to this, I want this one to be 
20. Okay, that brought that way down, right? So we can escape out of here and just bring this down. Come on, come on, come on. Well, that might not work too well, but we can just go ahead and smart dimension this down here too. Smart dimension this one and this one. 20. I don't know what just happened. Okay, so get rid of this. Get rid of this. So we got our basic shade. So so when the when when SolidWorks starts acting up, you know you have your width. So what you usually do is just take take your existing your existing um, lines here, and you just add to them. That's what I usually do. Just take it, bring it down, and I'll just redimension the other side. Just bring this up. Boom. We're good. Escape. Smart to mention this bottom. That one's going to be one inch. Bring that down. And this one, we want to uh, escape out of our smart dimension. Delete that side. Bring these down. Oh, I don't know why it's not coming down. Come on. Come on. Okay. So, this is the issue here. So we're going to have to delete these lines. Okay. There's no... It doesn't matter if you have to delete them or whatever, but it's a quicker way to do this. I'm just being, you know, I'm just putting it together. So I'm lift this one up. This is going to be our Tetris frame, right? Our Tetris frame. So that's across there. That's across there. Okay, this one here, I'm going to have to erase too because it will not extrude because it's not one piece. It has to be a closed system so with that line erased I can make it in a closed system so there we go with that then I can go to features extrude the base and it should yep yeah, there it is if you want to extrude this one inch as well boom okay nice control 8 and that's what we have we can start playing our Tetris game on that's the outside right we can also color this one too so we can have this one uh, any color we want here I'd say we'll put this one gold color yeah gold that that looks great that looks awesome yeah so Tetris gold that's what we'll call it Tetris gold all right file save as Tetris frame Okay, so now we start a new part and we finish our blocks. Now we're done with the frame, so so we can go ahead, start our sketch again, start our blocks, go on the right plane, straighten it out. Okay, let's get our one one inch by one inch block, smart dimension one. Okay. Only two sides need to be dimensioned because it's a square. Uh, then we're gonna go here, extrude that. I'm gonna extrude that an inch as well, and that's it right there. And we have our design. Boom, done. Then, you know, look. If I wanted to shell this piece, I can go here, right? And then I want to go here, and I want to shell, you know, one out of that, and okay. See, it just shelled it for me, right? It just, it's going to shell that. So if I hit OK. It says reveal that. It should, have it should shell that right there. But that's not what we're doing, so it's not it's going to do it. Uh, so right now, we're going to fillet. Filet. 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 That's what I call it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six sides. All done. Boom. There's the block. Okay, so we did a few of them already. I don't know if you guys think this is boring. I'm sorry about that, but uh, we're going to have to put this block together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to gain to assemble this. Actually, no. Let's save this as file. 
save as okay Tetris 6 Bow. Tetris 6 okay so we're gonna go in come on SolidWorks you can do it okay good so now we're gonna go to an assembly bring our Tetris 6 in which is right on this side boom boom okay control 8 brings it there okay we're gonna insert another one church 6 right here and what's the next shape we have to make the next shape is going to be one of my favorites okay and this is what we're gonna do we're gonna do it just like this one of my favorite shapes in Tetris is this over here okay this one over here right then oh no we don't come on come on boom good so right one more okay insert Chapter six. We're gonna put that one there. All right, let's go ahead and mate it. After you do this, you'll be a mating master, right? Mating master. You can mate these blocks so easy after this. So let's go ahead. Mate this one with this one. Move that over. Okay. Okay. And then you want this one over here with that one. Now we're good. Double click. Okay. And guess where the next one's going. Right? Where's the next one going? You guessed it. Right there. Right there. That's where we want it. And I got it pretty close. So let's mate it. Alright. So mate that one. We're going to mate that one. Good. Alright. So we got to mate this. This one wants to get mated with, if I can get in here, with the edge of that. Come on, don't do that to me. You didn't do that to me. You see that? That's messed up. You did that to me like that. So you want this one right there. Boom. So we got our piece, and this one is going to be colored. Double click. We're going to make this one, see what color we want. We'll make this one orange. All right, orange, 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 orange. Good. We got, I think we got one more shape in Tetris, and I have to try to guess what shape it is. So let's file, save as Tetris. There we go again. This, this keyboard loves to do that to me. Tetris 6. Save. Okay. We got one more to go. Might be two, but I'm only doing one more. Okay. Alright. We're doing these as separate blocks, even though we don't have to. I can actually show you that you don't have to do this as, you know, separate. But I like to do that. Right plane. Straighten you out. Go here, it's pretty easy, so you're just gonna make your square. Again, you're gonna dimension it, let's dimension it. I'll go one and this side. Or we can go over and do the opposite side, doesn't matter. Okay, there's that one. Then we're gonna features, extrude, one. Got that one. We're all done. There's that one. I think I'm too fast for this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there it is. So now, the last one is going to be a little different. So, this last one, we're going to do an assembly. Okay. And we are going to go to Tetris. Six. All right. Set our Tetris six block in. 
and uh, here we go guys this is our last part here which I think this one is you only have three up and one over that's how it works so instead of four up and one over it's three up and one over so they have two pieces just opposite of each other that's how Tetris is uh, seven pieces seven lucky number right seven is a lucky number so we want to insert another one uh, come on come on let's go Tetris six okay that there let's mate these guys together okay I'm gonna mate you with you right and then we're gonna mate you with you right and then we're gonna mate one more here with you with you there it is okay we're gonna insert it insert it touch your six right here goes right here oh my god it, like piece of it right and we don't want that but I guess that's how it works with that one with that one move on out that's it that's what you do so we're gonna turn it around we are going to mate this one with this one boom All right and our last one's gonna be mated this one with this one there we go and our last piece double click is we're gonna insert the component right here and we're gonna put that one there and that's the opposite side. I don't like when it does that, but okay. So we're gonna take this, this one, right here, and we're gonna mate it with this one. Brings it up a little bit. Okay, that's one. We're gonna mate this one here with that. We got one more to go, and you guessed it, guys. We're gonna mate this one with that. Boom, brings it down, and there's our piece. So let's let's make this piece. Double click, make this piece. Let's see here. What color do we want it? We want this piece. We'll do this piece pink. How about that? Pink, pink. Yep, good. Okay, so we have our pieces and we have our board. So now I am going to make an assembly again. So this one is file, save as. Okay, this one is file. Come on, file, save as, Tetris 7, okay, so now, we go over here, we go back to here, we assemble, and the first thing we're going to do is set up our frame, right, so that's what we're going to do, we're going to set up our frame, we're going to insert the opponent, uh, Tetris frame, we're going to put it out here, Boom. We're going to set that up there. Control 8. Boom. Okay. All right. Give it a little angle so you guys can see. And we're going to insert the components. And this, my friend, is a tough game of Tetris. So, whatever parts you want to pick, you, you know, if you can remember what 1 through 7 is. Um, let's just start with Tetris 1. No. Escape. We can start with Tetris. There we go. That's what we want. All right. So. This is how we play this Tetris game. We get it close to our thing, set it, then we're going to have to mate these. So you can play against, depth. you do this, you can actually play against anybody you want. But what we're going to do is we're going to flip this piece around, right? Boom, that way. Okay. And then we're going to go right here. You want this one to be hitting that. Boom. Then... We want to take one more action to have this one meet the bottom. And that is our first piece that fell down, right? There's one. Okay, let's go. If you ever want to make a straight, just control it again. Okay, let's insert our next piece. Let's do Tetris 2. Nope. Uh, Tetris 3. There we go. We'll do a block piece. So we're going to bring our block piece in. All right. Then we're going to have to mate it. And we'll see if we can make a pretty good straight line across this thing. 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to bring it where it has to go. So I'm going to meet this side with this side, right? It's kind of hard to like grasp this, but it does work. And it's pretty fun, right? It's pretty fun once you start mating these together, right? So let's see. You want that one in front here. Boom. We got that in, in spot. We're all done with that one. Okay. We get our next piece. Insert component. Our next piece is can be this one. We can set this one here, right? We have to mate them though. We can't just set it in. So we're gonna mate this one. Let's go ahead and mate this. We're gonna pick the bottom here to actually hit the bottom here. Alright, it's like coming even with it. So, we got that one. Then we're going to hit this one with this one. Right? That's good. We got one more move to make. We're going to bring it closer. We're going to hit this one. We want to hit that one. Bow! And there it is, my friends. What do you think? I think this is a fun, this is a very challenging Tetris game. You built the pieces, the, the level, and you are actually putting it together. Now, if you're playing your friend, you probably whoop him because he doesn't know how to do SolidWorks, and you do, but you just, it's only fair to teach him how to do it. So, this is how you make a Tetris game in SolidWorks, and guys, I hope you're paying attention, and if not, I will make another video on how to play Tetris in SolidWorks and I hope you are paying attention and thanks for watching please subscribe and I'll put up more videos thank you and have a good day